Hello everybody, I'm Lonnie with Everything Nature and today we are here at Mohawk Park and we're going to be looking for animal tracks in the snow. Some type of bird tracks you can tell because they've got three toes here in the front and one toe here in the back. Even these little claws. So these were probably maybe a crow or we have a lot of night herons around here. It could even been a small night heron or something. He went that way. That's a deer trap here. So you can tell they're deer because they've got cloven hooves, so they have two hoofs, two toes rather, that kind of just go right in there like that. And you can sort of see where the hoofs sort of scrape the snow like that before they put them put them down. And they just kind of right down in there. That's one paw. So maybe that's like the back foot and the front foot. But I can't tell the shape of it at all. It's too melted, I guess. Maybe we can find some more that are more distinct. You can see the back foot pretty good. And this one here you can see his front foot. So you can sort of see the little toes here because raccoons have sort of wide hind feet almost like almost human shape really and then the front feet sometimes will spread the toes out but these ones are kind of closed in and they're too big to be a skunk they look probably like a raccoon you can see he went that way oh hey raccoon they have a little bit different stride because the back feet actually will be placed in front of the front feet, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> um, because when they run, they put their front feet down and then they sort of push off and then their hind feet land. So it looks like their front feet are in the back and their hind feet are in the front. See, can you see? <laughs> Those are some cute ones right there. Rabbits do that too. So you can see here, you can tell a lot about the size of the animal by the tracks. So these here, and it looks like they're single file, but this would have been like a four-legged animal uh, because when they walk, they put their hind foot over their front foot in the tracks. So these are like two tracks, two tracks, two tracks. But you can see how close they are together. So this animal was much shorter and had short legs. Whereas this guy on this side, you can see they're much further apart. So this guy had much longer legs by comparison. Um, so you can sort of compare them with Petey's tracks over here, and they're actually even a little closer together than his, it looks like. So this was probably, you know, whatever it was, it was smaller than my dog. So, you know, maybe about that size, I guess. Whereas this guy was much bigger. This could have even been a coyote. I know we do have coyotes around here. But you can't really tell for sure if it's a coyote or a dog because you can't see his tracks themselves well enough. Um, but that's really cool. So you can see him side by side. Little guy, big guy. Cool. If you love learning about cool naturey things, please like this video and subscribe to Everything Nature. Thank you very much.